Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're taking a look at the USB Nugget. This is an ESP32 S2 powered USB attack platform. This cute yet powerful tool can help you launch payloads over Wi-Fi from your mobile and desktop devices or with the quick select menu at the press of a button. But before you can launch these payloads, you need to learn how to write them. So let's get started with your first Cat Scratch payload. Cat Scratch is a scripting language designed for the USB Nugget. It's simple and easy to use. You can execute commands line by line with the ability to press multiple keys at the same time by putting commands on the same line. If this sounds interesting to you, then let's get started with a quick example. Here I have a quick script pulled up, everyone's favorite, a uh, Rickroll. Now I have this pulled up in the web interface, but you could just as easily write this in a normal text document and save it as a .txt and then load it onto the USB nugget just like you would a flash drive. The important things to notice here are the default wait command that waits a certain amount of milliseconds between every line for the rest of the document, uh, which is an easier way to do it than having to wait every other line. But if you do need to wait a specific amount of time, you can do the wait and then that number of milliseconds. The USB Nugget supports most standard keys from A to Z, one to nine, all function keys, special characters like exclamation marks, at signs, dollar signs, percentages, etc. There are also modifier keys like shift, alt, control, windows key, GUI key, etc. So here you just to run through the script very quickly, we run GUI space, which is a hotkey to open up a search menu on a Mac, type in terminal. So anything after type is typed in. Then we press enter. Then in the terminal, we type open in this URL. Then we enter that, switch over to that view. Then we set the volume really high, kill the terminal and ta-da, we have run the script. But maybe this is a little more complicated than you want to do on your own for your first script. So let's make a new one from scratch real quick. But as you can tell, I'm here in a browser. How is this? What sorcery? Well, if you go to your Wi-Fi interfaces, click Wi-Fi, you'll see the Nugget AP. You can connect to that. The password is Nugget123. Then in your browser, go to 192.168.4.1 and you'll be taken to a page a little like this. From here, you can edit, run, and delete payloads right from your browser. It's that easy. So first thing I'm gonna do with the script is type GUI space. And as I was saying before, that's just gonna open up the search menu on a Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and wait 100 milliseconds. That's a pretty good value. Just gives you a chance to pop up. You don't want to be doing commands back to back to back instantly, or uh, some of them will get dropped. Then we're going to type terminal. I did it in all caps here, like a crazy person. You don't need to. Enter. So that'll press the enter key. Wait a thousand milliseconds, a full second. Um, and this gets into the art of doing a script. Sometimes you need to just time these things out to figure out how long things take. And then we're going to type one of my favorite terminal commands, curl parrot live. And as you can see, I added the enter there to make sure our commands run. Now I'm going to go to my nugget and run the payload. And ta-da, just like that, we have our dancing parrot, everyone's favorite. Now, if you've been typing this in a text document, all you need to do is save this, drag it over to your USB nugget like a flash drive, and then it'll pop up with whatever um, payload text name you have here. And then you can run it using the arrow keys. And there you have it, folks. That's how simple it is to write your very first Cat Scratch payload for the USB Nugget, whether it's over the Wi-Fi interface or the text editor, it's just as simple. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more tutorials like this one.